We are live in Studio A for the Working for Kids Giveathon, and this is where you can make the real difference. And this is what's so incredible is when we talk to families who benefit from Mady Children's Hospital and that incredible care that they offer to their patients. We have Paxton who has spent so many days and had so many surgeries at Rady Children's Hospital. Can you imagine that for your child who spent there all their time in the hospital at such an early age? And to be able to bring a smile to their face was probably really hard for mom and dad, Tara and Ben. For you guys, I can't imagine what it was like in the first few days of, of Paxson's life and for the years to come after that. But what's incredible is that you had Rady's on your side. Absolutely. Paxton has um, been a, a patient at Rady since hour one um, of life. And since then, as you mentioned, he's had, you know, over 30 surgeries and just look at how well he's doing today. And we are just so grateful. And, you know, when you talk about this working for kids program, you know, anything that you can do to put a smile on the kids faces that just warms the hearts of their, their parents and families. And, you know, Rady is not all about um, only their physical well-being, but also their emotional and mental well-being. And we are just so grateful for programs like this that recognize that. And this is why it's so important that we have a resident canine therapy program, that if there was a dog that's implemented into a child's treatment plan, and for those scary days when maybe he didn't want to get the IV or if there was a scary procedure and there was a dog that walked in, Dad, what do you think that would do for Paxton? Oh, my gosh. It would brighten the room and it would uh, bring joy to, to his face and, and everyone else. Because, you know, as you know, I mean, the hospital can be a scary place, especially for kids that don't really know what's, you know, what might be going on, you know, why they're there for treatment. It's hard to explain to them. So it would only build on the excellence that uh, Radius already has with their child life department. Uh, just having a resident canine program would just, uh, you know, mean the world. To, to some of the kids that are there because, um, you know, it, it, it can be a scary, uh, scary thing sometimes for the kids. And so, but for mom and dad, too, you know, I mean, it's a scary place for you because there's just this unknown. And I think, you know, we would want to do anything we could to bring a smile to our kids' faces just to help them. And in Absolutely. these situations, sometimes you're helpless, right? But if there's a dog there just to kind of ease the pain for mom and dad and for Paxton. Absolutely. I mean, there... They're their best friend <laughs> for a reason, and their excitement, their joy, and even their peace that they can bring is just contagious. And to see that transfer over to the kids and provide, you know, that that time of relief, especially when you've had, you know, a, a hard night, a hard day, even a hard couple weeks that you've been in the hospital, it's so wonderful. And, you know, it allows them to still be be a kid and still have those same experiences. I love that you said that, Tara, because for kids that are in a hospital, you know, you feel like you got to put your big kid pants on. <laughs> but, you know, for these situations when there's a dog, they just get to be Paxton. Exactly. Yep. <laughs> yeah, we, we can't state enough how wonderful Brady Children's is and how much this program would mean to all those families. Um, you know, just, just the joy that it brings. I, I can't state enough that emotional well-being is just as important as their physical well-being and that's what these types of programs are all about. It's having these wraparound services you know like you said is is the medical treatments are incredible but it's really to have these wraparound services and to bring joy because there can be these happy moments in in, in these dark moments as well. Yes. Yeah no absolutely um, you know and then like my wife said too it's uh, kind of trying to normalize it as, as best you can mm -hmm. you know there are some kids there that uh, you know they, they, we, there are some kids that are only there for a day but there are some kids there that are there for weeks and months and trying to kind of normalize childhood as best you can is, is uh, you know, kind of the name of the game. Well, thank you so much. And Paxton and your brother Tavion. Paxton, do you like dogs? Yes. What would you do if you were able to cuddle and see a doggy in the hospital? I would love it because doggies are really cute. Yes. So this is where you can make the difference. You can put smiles on Paxton's face and also his brother because you got to visit your brother too, huh? You probably missed your brother when he was in the hospital too, huh? Right? So it's like bringing the smile to, to all the family members. All right. They have been patiently waiting. They have dog bones to drop in the jar. And this is what's so cool. For every $1,000 that we raise for the Working for Kids Giveathon. A uh, dog bone goes in, so let's drop him, boys. You want to do it? Here we go. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo. 
Woo! This is where they're making the difference. You can fill this jar up. Let's do this. We are in the matching hour right now, which means that for every donation, your donation will be matched. So say you donated $100, it'll be $200. And that's what's incredible about the 6 a.m. matching hour. Please call in the numbers 1-800-258-0007 mm -hmm. or scan the QR code. Let's keep dunking those dog right. bones. After Fill that thing that up. Family, I mean, this is an incredible cause. Thank you all very much yes. uh, for telling us about the experience there. Uh, we know, obviously, life-changing work is Absolutely. happening at the hospital constantly.